Welcome to I Learned a Thing in the Bathroom from Dollar Shave Club, where we explain something very complicated in mere minutes to occupy your brain while you shave. In this edition, we'll be answering the question, what's it like at the bottom of the ocean? As explained by someone who sounds smart because he's British. This is a big question. Literally. Nearly three quarters of our planet is covered by oceans, and what's down there changes pretty dramatically depending on where you are. Yeah, yeah, but what's at the real bottom of the sea? Ah, you want the deepest point. Well, the ocean's deepest point is inside the Mariana Trench in the Western Pacific. The trench is already huge, but it has a further pit inside it known as Challenger Deep, which extends to around 36,000 feet below sea level. That's nearly seven miles. For scale, if you placed Mount Everest at the bottom of Challenger Deep, its summit would still be a mile underwater. Can we take a trip down there? Not without some serious submarine tech. The pressure down there is eight tons per square inch. That's a thousand times the atmospheric pressure at sea level, and it would instantly crush you into something substantially less than a fine red paste. Ouch! What the hell lives down there, then? Not much that we know of. There have only been two successful manned descents to the bottom of Challenger Deep, the most recent being a solo mission by James Cameron. Yes, that James Cameron, the one who directed Titanic. He spent two and a half hours down there and described the ocean floor at that point as being, quote, a very soft, almost gelatinous white plain. Mmm, so the ocean floor looks like vanilla pudding. I guess so. Cameron didn't see anything living down there that was bigger than an inch long, and the only swimming creatures he saw were small, shrimp-like things. Everything else just crawled along the seabed. The bottom of the ocean's kind of dull, huh? No, that's just the deepest part. There's tons of awesomely odd stuff in other places. The seabed around Antarctica, for example, is only just above freezing point, but somehow it's stuffed full of strange animals, like sea pigs. Sea pigs are these four-inch long creatures that are related to sea cucumbers, but look like a cow's udders came to life and went swimming. They're amazing. You also get ice fish, a strange fish whose blood lacks hemoglobin and is therefore completely colourless often making the fish appear a bizarre, ghostly white. You have my interest. Continue. Well, at the other end of the scale, you have animals that live in insane heat. There's an entire ecosystem that relies on hydrothermal vents, these sort of cracks in the planet's surface that superheat the water to temperatures well over 800 degrees Fahrenheit. The water remains a liquid due to the pressure. You get incredible things like giant tube worms over six and a half feet long, or the deep-sea vent octopus, a nine-inch long, completely translucent octopus. And if a small, squishy octopus doesn't sound all that weird to you, just remember, it's living in water 200 degrees above temperatures that would melt lead. What else is down there? Tell me everything. Sadly, I can't, because we don't actually know everything. According to the National Ocean Service, despite the oceans covering 70% of the Earth, we have explored less than 5% of them. Believe it or not, we have a better idea of what's on the surface of Mars and Venus than we do the bottom of the ocean. Now I feel ripped off. Welcome to real life, buddy. Tune in next time for more I Learned a Thing in the Bathroom. And in the meantime, head to dollarshaveclub.com for more podcasts and a big old pile of grooming products.